Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm Stephanie West. I'm a licensed counselor here in the state of Michigan. Today we're going to talk about kind of some um, assumptions that we make about other people, why we kind of default into assumptions and why it's important to push back against those. One of the things that we can look at is in our stories, we know our intentions. We know why we chose a behavior often, or you might be working with a therapist to discover some of those things, which is a noble mission and I love that for you. But usually we know how we got to a certain place. So if I arrive late somewhere, I know all of the rigmarole behind the scenes that disallowed me from arriving on time. Maybe it was poor planning, but um, you know I had something going on with my dog, or maybe there was traffic, there was an accident, maybe I unexpectedly had to stop and help a friend. I know all of that, right? Someone who's looking at my behavior of showing up late, they're only looking at my behavior. They don't know my intention. So often what happens is we kind of gently judge ourselves because we know our intentions, but then we harshly judge other people because we see their behavior and we make assumptions about their behavior. So now I'm showing up late somewhere and someone's like, she's just rude. She's you know not worried about anyone else. She's very selfish. She's very self-focused because they are making a judgment against my behavior not identifying that there might be something at play that disallowed me from arriving on time. But I know that because I know my intention. So let's play out why that's such a problem. We're living in a, a context then where I can go around and give myself grace because I know how I landed places, but then I'm undue um, harsh in another person's direction because I only see what I see. So I make assumptions and I arrive at really hasty conclusions about who they are, what they're doing, how did they arrive there and how dare they, right? I, I just, I, there's a harshness to how I navigate the world because I'm, I'm creating story in my head about what's reasonable or, you know, maybe there is some historical data that this person might be rude, this person, you know, might be um, kind of selfish, they're, they're typically late, whatever it is, I'm taking the behavior and typically I create a story and call it fact instead of just saying, oh, I wonder if something came up on their end. I know that things come up on my end. So I know my intentions. I know, you know, what I wanted to be true, what is true, you know, the gap between those two things, I understand them typically. But if I don't err on the side of grace for other people and train my brain to say staff, whatever's going on in their story, it makes sense to them. There's an intention there. I can ask about it. I can inquire, but I should not make assumptions based on someone else's behavior, especially if it's someone newer to my life, someone who hasn't really exhibited a historical selfishness. What a... Um, what a uh, harsh posture for them to show up late and for me to just assume the worst about them. It's, it's a really helpful thing for your own mental health and for your relational health to assume the best about people. Because if you can go into your own story and make sense of how did I get to this place or what happened for me to show up late here, again, a very neutral, a very kind of superficial example, but take that and run it out in any story. If you know how you got to a certain place, there's a story there, there's an explanation, then we should run with the understanding that wherever my, my partner is, wherever my neighbor is, wherever my coworker is, whatever's going on in their lives, there's a story there as well. Their decisions make sense in the context of what they're navigating. Their decisions make sense in the context of whatever solutions they perceive to be available to them. We make sense in our stories. And I've said that again and again. What we have to do is kind of self-reference and say, I understood what went wrong here, or I understood what my intentions were, and it didn't turn out ideal. So possibly this other thing where I'm seeing a not ideal behavior, perhaps they had intentions, perhaps they had you know, things that were barriers to them completing something successfully or showing up in a prompt way or uh, showing up refreshed and ready to go. Whatever it is, there is a story that makes sense. And if we kind of lean in and say, hey, what happened here? I thought we were arriving at this time and, and you're 15 minutes late. Maybe we invite in an explanation, but also just a um, an investment in relationship saying, I want to hear you. I want to hear your story. I don't want to assume the worst about you because we all make sense in our story. So when we slow down enough to try to understand story, usually that's very protective of a relationship and it's protective of our own mental health. We shouldn't be out there assuming the worst about all the people. That is not for our good.